Hi, in today's video I want to talk about reporter genes and um, in my previous videos I was talking about gene expression and today I want to talk about um, that before carrying out a deletion analysis experiment a way should be found to uh, assay um, effect of the deletion on the gene expression. It wouldn't be much um, effect if we'll take say a gene from the plant um, and gene that is um, take its part in the pathway of the regulation of the uh, photosynthesis and if we'll try to transfer such a gene and try to express in bacteria cell. So um, bacteria doesn't have a um, uh, same pathway and uh, doesn't have um, proteins that would bind to the regulatory uh, sites so we won't be able to express such a gene uh, in a bacteria. But um, nowadays uh, almost all uh, living uh, organisms have uh, its cloning vectors and now we can uh, transfer a um, gene from uh, one organism to its uh, uh, host and uh, we would be able to express such a gene, it wouldn't be a problem. The problem is that um, uh, the cell is already possess uh, such a gene. Uh, let's say this is a cell and it has uh, nucleus and nucleus have um, chromosomes and on one of the chromosomes the already copy of such a gene is present. So if we'll try to put our construct with, uh, let me change the color, um, our construct with uh, such a gene present, it is in the yellow color here and here. So the big question is how we can, um, how we can distinguish a gene expression pattern of the um, cloned gene from the gene expression pattern of the gene that is reside on the one of the chromosomes and the answer is to use um, reporter gene. Reporter gene is a um, special test gene. Uh, let me draw here is a piece of DNA and let's say that this is going to be um, a gene and this is going to be, let me change color, uh, this is going to be uh, control sequences and um, Let me draw uh, some of them different colors and um, so what we do with a reporter gene, a reporter gene is a test gene that is actually um, uh, we put uh, on place of the real gene and replace it. So this is going to be our reporter gene. It can be put uh, and replace the original gene or it can be just inserted in the upstream region of the original gene and they would be fused together. And um, reporter gene is a test gene that um, possess such qualities like um, uh, it should be um, 
very easily distinguish it from the uh, phen phenotype that is already expressed by a uh, cell. So uh, uh, phenotype of this gene should not be displayed by a um, uh, cell. And the um, uh, second uh, important thing, uh, we should be able to uh, assay quantitatively uh, uh, expression of this uh, gene. Um, nowadays there are a number of the genes um, is already exist. Most of them are extract, uh, most of them are um, taken from the uh, bacterial cells but uh, some of those uh, genes uh, are from uh, taken from um, from bug that um, can glow in the dark and it is bioluminescence and all the rest uh, uh, represent some kind of resistance to um, some um, antibiotics. So um, here's uh, on the next uh, um, picture you can see um, discs with uh, some uh, antibiotic, maybe say it is uh, contamicin, and um, say what's going on here. Uh, let me draw uh, DNA one more time. Say if it is DNA and this is a reporter gene that we replace it or fuse it with original gene and uh, say here is a control sequences that we are going to delete and see what's going to happen and say using a restriction enzyme we deleted this sequence we use it restriction enzyme and say our original uh, state was this and it changed to this that means that um, resistance uh, of the bacteria uh, become uh, less. So we can say that this uh, gene uh, control sequence here that was deleted is um, suppressor. So, if we we'll delete this sequence, uh, it means that, oh, sorry, it means that this sequence here is enhancer. Uh, so, our reporter gene shows that there is least gene expression that leads to um, that bacteria is uh, not resistant to contamicin. But let's say that we deleted this control sequence and we got results like this. Say original state was uh, that the mm, bacteria uh, was not uh, resistant and then the bacteria become uh, say it is E. coli become uh, resistant to the contamicin. So we know that uh, this is uh, enhancer oh sorry suppressor suppressor sequence and this is enhancer.
Um, so when we delete this sequence that was suppressor, we only left with enhancer. So they're going to be uh, more gene product. Uh, and it leads that uh, bacteria become more resistant to contamicin. If we'll delete uh, this control sequence uh, that is enhancer, uh, that would lead to least gene product, and this would lead that um, bacteria become least uh, resistant. So uh, with the looks. Uh, uh, gene, we can uh, f find another pattern uh, that called um, a tissue specific uh, uh, deletion. Say uh, all the cells in our organism or tissues are different. In some genes, as one gene expressed it in other tissue, this same gene is um, uh, suppressed. So this is how every cell has the same uh, genomic composition, but uh, they are very different. And if you delete uh, this sequence here, uh, that might lead and this is reporter gene would be um, Lux, Lux Ferraris bioluminescent uh, gene that would lead that say um, the gene that was expressed uh, say only in kidneys of the mouse would be expressed in every single cell of that mouse. So this control sequence is uh, tissue specific. So if you'll delete it with restriction enzyme, uh, this uh, gene would be expressed in every cell of organism. This is um, how uh, scientists find uh, which control sequence uh, controls which functions of the um, gene. Thank you for your attention and this is all for today. Goodbye.